Next, Street Smart salutes the color green. What green substance kills Superman? Jello. You ever see girls wrestle in Jello? Yes. From green eggs and ham. What 60s sitcom featured a pig named Arnold Ziffel? Mork and Mindy. Green Acres, you ever watch that? Hell no. To a lean green fighting machine. If someone is new at something, they might be called what color? Yellow. It's the green show. The theme is green on Street Smarts right now. Today we salute my favorite color, green. All right, are you guys ready? Whoa, there, that's better, everything's green. All right, now let me explain how this game works. Now I traveled both near and far asking folks questions with one common link, the color green. Then I shot back here to the studio where two contestants must predict who had the luck of the Irish and whose answers made me feel green. Oh, around the gill. It looks funny because I'm green. All right, and here are our two contestants. We got Raheem right here. What's yeah. up? So play like a mean green fighting machine. Oh, yeah. Now let's meet our three emerald individuals. First, Terrell showed me why he's keeping his day job as a football star. So Terrell, you you play football for Arizona State. Defensive end, yeah. Defensive end. Well, Ready? Well, like okay, football. okay, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. So Terrell, what's your nickname? T Sizzles. T Sizzles. Why do they call you T Sizzles? Because when I'm on the field, I just be sizzling. T -sizzle. Now, what year are you in? I am in my sophomore year. What's your major at ASU? Uh, I'm thinking theater because, you know, I'm a character. I got multiple personalities, wow. so I figured, why not get paid for it? Right. Now, I hear you also do an impression of uh, Corky Romano. Okay. You guys want some cookie? <laughs> By the way, you know what's funny? If you're wondering at home, yeah, my shoulders are still sore from him throwing me aside. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> He is awesome! And Susie revealed her twisted talent. I'm with Susie. Susie. How do you spell your name? It's S-U-E slash Z. Susie. She was on Double Dare? Yes, I was! I was on Double Dare. I was on Super Sloppy Double Dare. You were on Double Did you get gacked? No, I didn't, but I got a cool shirt. So Susie, you watch Street Smarts all the time. I do, I love you guys. You do something weird with your arm? Oh yes, I can twist my arm all the way around. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Who blew it? Or who knew it? <laughs> Did that make you green? Yeah. See that? That made me sick. Finally, Mo wax nostalgic about knocking back a few with the Duke himself. Okay, go. So, Mo, where are you originally from? I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. So, Mo, you're retired, but what did you do when you were working? Just cross country pipelines, local 274 for years. And in the end, I was uh, doing some uh, uh, photo editing work for a friend of mine. He was a. Uh, He's a journalist, columnist. Who are some of the celebrities that you did interview? Well, it was John Wayne was the biggest. The Duke, come on. Uh, oh, the best. Uh, uh, two hours with him drinking scotch one for one. It was <laughs> uh, quite an event. What's your favorite vegetable? Tomatoes. You like tomatoes? Tomatoes. Oh, I love tomatoes. They start out great. How great are these people? We got a good show here today, guys. And it's time to give someone the green light in our first round. Who knew it? You guys have to figure out who got it right. Okay. Lock in your choice, and a correct guess earns you $100. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, the green show. Yeah. This yeah. is cool. I'm in green. All right, here's the first question I asked to Terrell, Susie, and Mo. Urban legend has it that the green variety of what candy is an aphrodisiac. So what do you think, guys? Who knew it? One of them knew it up there. Was it Terrell, Susie, or Mo, who got drunk with the Duke? Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know. My dad will appreciate that. All right. And you're both locked in, and you both think Susie is the one who knows. Laura, you think she knows this? Yeah, I think Susie knows it. She uh, watches the show a lot, knows a lot of okay, questions. Okay, right. All right, Raheem, you agree? Yeah, Susie's young, hip, crazy. She got to know. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Urban legend has it that the green variety of what candy is an aphrodisiac? Oh, the green M&M's. What, what do they do? What's an aphrodisiac? They make you horny. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. She had a right way to go. He's got 100 bucks. Now, uh, Get ready for this, because this is pretty funny. Watch throughout here. Urban legend has it that the green variety of what candy is an aphrodisiac? Cotton candy, yo. Because when you got the munchie after hitting something, you know what I'm saying? You, cotton candy set you off tight. Cotton candy, good to go, but let me see your twist, twist and roll. roll. Let me see your twist and roll. roll. Let me see your twist, twist and roll. roll. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it was uh, Hey, what the heck? Let's do a most set on that one, too. Urban legend has it that the green variety of what candy is an aphrodisiac? 
uh, peppermint. Green peppermint? What's an aphrodisiac? Uh, that's what makes you sexy. Right. What makes you sexy? What food can you eat that makes you sexy? Uh, scotch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Good job. You both got that one. Want to show those two clips for fun. All right, next question. What Dr. Seuss character keeps trying to get his friend to eat green eggs and ham? So what do you think? Who knew out there? Was it Terrell, Susie, or Mo? Terrell's shaking that butt a little too much, by the way, yeah. He's an athlete. All right, lock in, guys. And you're both locked in. Once again, you guys are both back, going back to Suzy. You think she's the one who's going to know. Uh, Raheem, you think she'll know? Suzy knows. She looks like she still reads Dr. Seuss books. Okay, all right, let's see if we can get you each another 100 bucks. What Dr. Seuss character keeps trying to get his friend to eat green eggs and ham? Oh, the monkey? What monkey? The monkey with the hat on. The monkey, Curious George? Yes, Curious George. I'm sorry, you both went with Suzy. That's not the right answer. The right answer, Terrell had it. Here it is. What Dr. Seuss character keeps trying to get his friend to eat green eggs and ham? Sam, I am. Oh, you know, you're down with the Seuss. I'm down with the Seuss, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, in high school, that was my highest level of reading. So. Right. <laughs> well, you know, you shouldn't be saying that. Everyone's going to think that all football players, you know, read, like, Dr. Seuss in high school. That is not true. Right. We've got 2.0 average now. That's good. Yeah. Oh, I had a 2.4. Blood alcohol level, dude. Oh, oh, I asked all three. The first president, George Bush, claimed he didn't like what green vegetable? What do you think? Who knew it? Was it Terrell, Susie, or Mo? Did not know. Lock in as quickly as you can. All right. And you're both locked in, and you both went with Mo, who has a little green background. Perfect. Laura, you, you think Mo will know this one? A little older. Okay. Knows more about politics. All right. Let's yeah. check it out. The first president, George Bush, claimed he didn't like what green vegetable? Uh... Broccoli. That's right, he did eat broccoli. You like broccoli? Love it. Have you ever been chopping broccoli? Chopping? Chopping no. broccoli. No, I never chop. I'm chopping broccoli. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you both got a way to go, guys. Just got 100 bucks. Just a little Dana Carvey there. Just for fun, let's hear what Suzy yeah, yeah. said. The first President George Bush claimed he didn't like what green vegetable? Uh, spaghetti. 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 I can't say the word. Spaghetti. Asparagus! 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 He did not like asparagus! Asparagus. <laughs> All that effort for a wrong answer. All right, let's recap. Raheem, 200 bucks. Laura, yeah. 200 bucks. We're both making some green. Don't change that channel. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. The greenbacks devil. When we come back, don't go away. Our contestants are going to use some strategery. Both George Bushes. Salutes to the color green. Let's meet our in-studio contestants who are trying to win some green today. We have Raheem now from Inglewood, California, airport security. And tell me about this one time this old guy kept going we, through. We had this older gentleman walk through the metal detector. Yeah. He kept setting it off. We couldn't find out why, so we sent him back like three or four times, and we found out it was his dentures that kept setting his it dentures off. His dentures were? His dentures, so we took oh him God. out, and he was all right. It was an nasty. I thought, you were, I thought you were going to give me some sort of spinal tap story. Nah. In the tin foil. <laughs> all right, good. All right, we have Laura here. Laura's from Silver Lake, California. She's a teacher, and uh, you always get what you want, huh, Laura? That's right. No one tells me no. No. I was at a club in Hollywood, and I wanted to get into the VIP room. Room. Rick Fox, Shaquille O'Neal, those are my boys. Right. And I dove in head first through the coat check and I was in. And you partied with them? Hell yeah! Oh my god, all right, Laura. Yeah. Jeez, all right. Okay, recap of the scores. Raheem's got 200 bucks, Laura's got 200 bucks. Yeah. Time to find out who let the cheese get moldy in our next round. Who blew it? I asked the same question only two at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. Lock in your choice, correct guess range at 200 bucks. Plus, there's the dunce cap right there. It can only be used once this round. When you think your opponent does not know the answer to a question, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get 200 bucks. But if they're right, they get the 200 bucks. Like an angry leprechaun, the cap can take away your gold. So watch out. Don't take me gold. <laughs> All right, here's the first question. I asked about Suzy and Mo. If someone is new at something, they might be called what color? So what do you think, guys? Who blew it up there, Suzy or Mo? Oh my god, Raheem, you've been done. All right, I'm gonna read the question again. You have five seconds to answer it. This will break the tie. Raheem, if someone is new at something, they might be called what color? Yellow. Oh. The wrong answer, green. Raheem. Ah. It's the green show. I, what do you guys think? Who do you think blew it? Do you think it was Suzy or Mo blew that one? Nice job, Laura. Thought Thanks. it was kind of a bad move, but it worked Woo. out for you. So lock in, guys, as quickly as you can. Okay. Suzy or Mo blew it. There we go. Okay, so you're both locked in. You think Suzy blew it, huh, Laura? Yeah. Okay. I'm just not feeling confident in her right All right, now. let's check it out. 
If someone is new at something, they might be called what color? Green. Very good. <laughs> Sorry, she got that right, Laura. Oh, Looks yes. like Raheem was right. Yes. Mo did blow it. He gets the 200 yes. back. He lost on the gun. If someone is new at something, they might be called what color? Yellow. <laughs> he blew it. Way to go, Raheem. Nice shot. You're back up to 200 bucks. You got a tie game. Yeah, Mo. The, the, the correct answer, Ryan, is green. Green. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? All right, that's True okay. Question. Here's question. the next question I asked to Terrell and Susie. Name the green-eyed heartthrob who played Jack in the 1997 movie Titanic. So who blew it, Terrell or Susie blew that one? We got a tie game here, 400 bucks a pop. Might be able to break it on this one, so tell me who blew it. And you guys both locked in. You both think Terrell. So Raheem, you don't think he knows this one? Yeah, Terrell didn't watch Titanic, man. He it's, probably watched it. It's a girly movie yeah, thing. Yeah, man. Oh, let's Football see. Player. Let's check. Name the green-eyed heartthrob who played Jack in the 1997 movie Titanic. Leonardo DiCaprio. She always say, I never let you go, Jack. But she lets him I drown just, right in the ocean. Well, I mean, what's the point of that? And like when he had her like this, he didn't let her go, yeah. you know what okay, I'm go saying? Ahead, say, take it. He was just like, I'd have dropped her ass over the end. <laughs> I'm sorry, he got it right. What is he doing I watching Titanic? I don't know, you both had to drown. What is he doing watching Titanic? Uh, actually, practice? Susie is the one who blew it. All right, let's Ooh. move up to the thing. He's a sensitive guy. All right, um, <laughs> next question to Terrell and Mo. What sitcom's final episode feature the Green Day song, Good Riddance, Time of Your Life? So what sitcom's final episode had the Green Day song, guys? Who blew it? One of them did not know, Terrell or Mo. Let me know, I'll give you 200 bucks. All right, and you're both locked in. You both think Mo's the one who blew it. Laura, he won't know this? You know, maybe right. past his time a little bit. Okay, all right, let's find out. What sitcom's final episode featured the Green Day song, Good Riddance, Time of Your Life? Seinfeld. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That's the right answer. He actually... He, no, it's who blew no, it. Who blew it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Terrell blew it. <laughs> what sitcom's final episode featured the Green Day song, Good Riddance, Time of Your Life? Will and Grace. But they're still on. on. Will and Grace is still on. It's at the final episode. Okay, the final episode would be Friends, then. No, that's still on, too. Man, I don't watch TV, <laughs> man. <laughs> He plays football. All right, let's recap uh, the scores here. Right, he's got 400 bucks. Lion's got 400 bucks. The grass is even greener on the other side of this commercial where Street Smart salutes to color green continues. So don't go away. Welcome back to our salute to the color green. We must be in the home stretch because it's time to pick your pony. For the entire round, I'll try to guess how to answer three questions. Correct predictions were $300. Yeah. Dunce cap is bad, can only be used once. It's also worth 300 bucks. Now, recap of the scores. Raheem's got 400 bucks. Laura's got 400 bucks. Yeah. And because uh, you're both tied, uh, Raheem gets to choose first because backstage won the preliminary tiebreaker. So, uh, who'd you like to pick, Raheem? I'm going to saddle up and ride Mo because I'm pretty and he's not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's a sweet old man. Laura, how about you? Terrell. All right, go yeah. Terrell. Thank yeah. you for that. Good choices, guys. All right, here's your first question to Mo Rahim, and he is a good looking man. Don't you agree, audience? <laughs> All right. What green substance kills Superman? What do you think, Rahim? Do you think Mo got. Oh, you've been done! Rahim, I'm gonna read the question again. You got five seconds to answer it. 300 bucks on the line. What green substance kills Superman? I'm gonna say kryptonite. <laughs> That's the wrong answer! Way to go! So, what do you think? You think Mo got it right or wrong? You took the lead there. You got 700 bucks. I'm gonna say on. Mo got it wrong. Let's find out. What green substance kills Superman? Green substance, Jello. <laughs> you ever see girls wrestle in Jello? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he got it wrong. Way to go, Randy. Made 600 bucks on that question. You're up to 1,000. Correct answer is kryptonite. Okay, Laura, here's your first question to Terrell. A green card allows you to work legally in what country? What do you think? Do you think he got it right or wrong? Get that 300 I back. I think he got it right. Again. Think he got it right? Yeah. All right, let's find out. A green card allows you to work legally in what country? USA. You know, you need a green card to come over here, you know, and get busy and get that cheddar because, you know, we are the land of the free, home of the beautiful. No, what's up, girl? How you doing? What's up? You know. Yeah, don't, don't be shy. Do that. Turn around. That. What's, what's up? up? Spit yeah. at her, player. What's up? She's giving you that eye. What's up, baby? You know what I'm saying? Look yeah. at her. Look at her. She blushing. You like game show host? What's hey, up? What's up? Football player what's game up? show host. What's up? <laughs> Dogged you, player? No, she dogged you! <laughs> it was him! She dogged you! You got it right! Way to go, Laura! Another 200 bucks for you! In all honesty, she was checking me out. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, here's the next question to Mo. 
Uh, if you're an expert gardener, they say you have a green what? What do you think, Raheem? <laughs> think you got it right or wrong? I'm serious, she was checking me out. Mm, I'm gonna say, I'm pretty mo got it right. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> if you're an expert gardener, they say you have a green what? Tum. Green tum. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said tum, but that's your jersey. I know you meant tum. Tum, tum, tum. 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 Yeah. He got it right. Way to go, Ryan. Green tum, tum, tum. He you knows up to 1300 bucks for you. All right, Laura, you got to stay in the game here. I asked Terrell. I am. What is the main vegetable in split pea soup? What do you think? I think he got it right. All right, let's find out. 300 bucks. What is the main vegetable in split pea soup? Pea. It's got to be peas, because split pea soup, so you try to trick me there. Oh, I want to say, I kind of... It's peas, yeah. though. I don't eat peas. Did you though. ever see The Exorcist? Yes, I did. That's the, that's the stuff oh, she... that's the stuff she throwing yeah, out on Show me what she looked like when she was... She was just like... Bleh, 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 bleh. It rocks! Way to go, Lars. Oh, you three to one show up to a thousand. Great game. All right, you each have one more question this round. The money's building up. The green's building up on the green show. Yeah. Right. I asked Mo, what Wisconsin-based team won the very first Super Bowl? Wisconsin-based team won the first Super Bowl. Raheem, do you think Mo got it right or wrong? Um, he got it wrong. I'm still pretty. All right, let's find out. <laughs> what Wisconsin-based team won the very first Super Bowl? Wisconsin. Milwaukee Brewers? Milwaukee Brewers. That's all right. You know, I... you're going to make stuff sometime. Okay. He got yeah! it wrong. Way to go, Raheem. There you go, buddy. Yeah! 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 Correct answer, Green Bay Packers. Uh -huh. Actually, they won the first two Super Bowls. There you go. All right, here we go. Next question for you, Laura. Last one of the round. I asked Terrell what 60s sitcom featured a pig named Arnold Ziffel. What do you think? Think you got it right or wrong? Playing football too much. You got it okay, wrong. Okay, let's find out. What 60s sitcom featured a pig named Arnold Ziffel? Mork and Mindy. You know what it is? Yeah. Green Acres. You ever watch that? Hell no. What the hell is oh, Green Acres? Oh. It was with the pig and green acres. Is oh, sad it to be. And then they get out of the closet. Oh, yeah, I seen that one back in the year. Back in the day there. We got it right. Way to go, Laura. Recap of the scores. Laura's got $1,300. Raheem's got $1,600. When we return, Raheem and Laura will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Terrell, Susie, and Mo. I asked them, restaurants traditionally garnish your plate with what green leafy herb? Break out your green visors, players, because when we come back, we'll be making... The Wager of Stay death. tuned, Green Show! <laughs> Welcome back. We've been saluting green all day. Now, Raheem and Laura, here's the chocolate mint scoop. Now, during the break, you both secretly chose a person out in the street, predicted if they would be right or wrong, and then made a wager not to exceed your total. Good totals here. Laura's got 1300 bucks. <laughs> Raheem's got 1600 bucks. I haven't been this excited since I snuck into Jenny Greenberg's sleeping bag at computer camp. <laughs> now here's a question I asked to Terrell, Susie, and Mo. <coughs> Restaurants traditionally garnish your plate with what green leafy herb? So let's get your choices right now. Raheem, you got to lead 1600 bucks. So whose clip do you want to see and try to win the game? I'm going to go with Mo. You're going with Mo. Laura, how about you? Gonna You're go going with Mo. Mo too. All right, well, Go nobody chose Susie or Terrell. Terrell and Susie, thank you, Terrell. One of the funniest guys ever on the show. Thanks again, buddy. All right, that means there's only one clip left in the show, guys. It's Mo. Let's check out and see what he says. Restaurants traditionally garnish your plate with what green leafy herb? Parsley. Mo got that right. Now, Laura, you're trailing right now, but only by 300 bucks. You went with Mo. He got it right. What did you say? You said he would get it right. All right, Laura, how much did you wager of your 1300 bucks? What did you wager? Your wager was 200 bucks. All right. Safe. Interesting strategy. You're up to 1500 bucks. Now, Raheem, you went with Mo. He got it right. What did you say he would do? Wrong. Ah, Raheem, how much did you uh, wager of your 600 bucks? If you wagered less than 100, you won, but. The whole king you had caboodle. <laughs> Press the button. You wagered all of it. Press it on a zero. That means Laura just won 1500 bucks. What did we learn today? The green substance that kills Superman is not jello. You know, it's not easy being green, huh? I guess it's time to return back to regular everyday blonde color. Bye bye. Thanks again. Tyrell, awesome. Susie Mo, one of my favorite shows ever. Bye bye. Restaurants traditionally garnish your plate with what green leafy herb? Lettuce. Restaurants traditionally garnish your plate with what green leafy herb? Uh, the parsley.